course, some experts hold that Momo and the Murfreesboro Monster, like the hundreds of other sightings and all those mysterious footprints which keep turning up, are all the work of hoaxers. The former Canadian newspaper man, John Green, a steady, thoughtful Bigfoot investigator who has written numerous articles and two books on the subject, has given a lot of thought to the question. Green asks, Is there an unknown species of animal that is very heavy, has human-like feet, and walks erect? The very idea is ridiculous. Is there then a person or organization that has been making giant footprints over an area of hundreds of thousands of square miles for the best part of a century? That too is ridiculous. The only comfortable explanation is that the tracks don't really exist at all, but the plain fact is that they do. Dr. John R. Napier, former director of the Primate Biology Program at the Smithsonian Institution, has also written a Bigfoot book and has pondered the question. Upon considering all available evidence, Napier concludes the abominable snowman of the Himalayas has little going for it. Except for one photograph of tracks shot at 20,000 feet by Everest mountaineer Eric Shipman that Napier finds curious and inexplicable, he rightly states he would have no hesitation in dismissing the Yeti as a red herring or at least as a red bear.